The Bible says, and the word of Sam, and the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistine to battle uh -huh. and pitched beside Ebenezer, and the Philistine pitched in Apek, and the Philistine put themselves in array against Israel, and when they joined battle, Israel was smitten, uh -huh. was defeated, was beaten yes. before the Philistine, and they slew the army of the field about 4,000 men. Uh -huh. And when the people were come into the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore hath the Lord smitten us today before the Philistine? Let us fetch the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh unto us. Hallelujah. That when it cometh among us, it may save us out of the hand of the enemy. So the people went to Shiloh and they and they might bring that they might bring from thence the ark of the ark of the covenant of the Lord of hosts, uh, which dwelleth between the cherubims, uh, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni and, and Phinehas, were there with the ark of the covenant of God. Uh -huh. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout. Oh, yeah. Somebody said, Great shout. Great shout. So that the earth rang, shook. Hallelujah again. And when the first time heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of the great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. Hallelujah. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is come into the camp. And they said, Woe unto us, for there had been such a thing heretofore. Woe unto us. Who shall deliver us out of the head of these mighty gods? Uh, these are the gods that smoke the Egyptians uh, with all the pleas in the wilderness. Be strong and quiet yourself like men, O ye Philistine, that you be not shut unto the Hebrews as they have been unto, unto you. Quit yourselves like men and fight. And the Philistine fought, and Israel was smitten. Uh -huh. And they fled every man into his tent. And there was a very great slaughter, for there fell of Israel 30,000 footmen. And the ark of God was taken, and the two sons of Eli, half nine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let me just sit down. Tonight, I want to talk to a few of you, not all of you. Because, you know, sometimes people can be so spiritual. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to talk to a few of you that is willing to admit their mistakes. Uh -huh. I want to talk to a few of you that say, I know I don't have it right. I ain't got it right. Uh -huh. I want to talk to a few of you that feel like there is a lacking in your life. Uh -huh. I want to talk to some people here that that feel like it doesn't matter what you try, but, but there's a hindrance, there's a stopping, there's a blockage. So for some reason, I, I cannot move to the next level. For some reason, it seems like I'm stuck. It seems like the devil has his hand upon me. It, it seems like everything that I do is going upside down when everybody else around me is just flourishing. I want to talk to some people that, 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 that are willing to testify of their mistakes, because not everybody can testify their mistakes. I want to talk to some people that want to say, you know what? This is me. You, you talking to me right here. I want to talk to some people with yes. a conviction knowing that I am at fault. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I, I don't want to talk to the yeah. spiritual one, to, to the people that, that got it all right. I, I don't, if you know you got it all right, I ain't talking to you tonight. The preacher is not talking to you tonight. That's right. <laughs> you see, the Bible is telling us a story about Israel. Yeah. And, and what caught my attention is the fact that this event took place exactly at a time when there was going to be
be a transition in Israel that was going to take place. You see what I'm saying? There's a shifting that was going to take place in Israel. Hallelujah. There was a change hallelujah, that was gonna that was about to happen in Israel. You see, in every point of your life, hallelujah, if you do not experience a transition and experience, hallelujah, then you gotta be missing something. Are you hearing me? Israel is about to experience a change on the spiritual and also on the natural. Are you hearing me? And I always say that the spiritual will always affect the natural. Whatever happens in your natural is the cause of things happening in your spiritual life. And at the time when this history was taking place, Israel was not in order with God. You see, many of you are you here, you shout, you praising God, but your life is not in order with God.
that the Philistines have smitten. Uh -huh. They have destroyed. They have beaten the Israelites. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. yes. And the reason why is because the head uh -huh. was not clean. Yeah, yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. There are many of y'all, you come to church, uh -huh. the pastor filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. the saints filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. and you join it, you feel hopped up, excited, you catch it out, demon, you rebuke the devil when the devil is waiting for you outside because your his stuff is still in your head. Yeah.
Uh-huh. If I don't let the million pay no rent, if he doesn't pay the rent, I'm out the house. Uh-huh. So a man is mounting you like a donkey whenever he pleases uh-huh. because he wants to go pay the rent. This Sunday you come to church looking all nice. Next Sunday when you come to church with one side of your face swelled up because you done got beaten up. Uh-huh. 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 If I let it go, right? don't you know that God is Jehovah Jireh? Expecting 
a touch from God. Uh -huh. You expect him to receive a sensation from God to move you. Uh -huh. yeah. But you refuse to have an experience with God. something that your life remains the same. That's right. And when you experience it, 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 it becomes a scar. It becomes a reminder. You can always talk about it. And sometimes you can speak it as if it happened yesterday. Yes. 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 So they shouted to the point that the earth shook. Yes. And they said, oh, we're ready for battle. Yeah. They come here on Sunday morning, shouted it, it, the, the word was the word can be powerful, but it's not for you. Yes. Now until you clean out your closet, God will continue to tell you, clean it up. You will see people moving forward. You will see people getting blessed. You will see people getting delivered, but you're still going to be in your same dilemma. I don't care how much you shout to the point where you ain't got no more voice. But you're still going to remain in that same position. Yes. Uh -huh. Because you cannot find the why. So the Bible say after they shouted, Oh, now I'm ready for battle, man. <laughs> Bring it on, Philistine. Now who's the Philistine in your life? <laughs> because listen, the Bible says that the devil is mighty. Be careful now. <laughs> Yes. The devil is mighty and he knows the word better than you do. Yes. So don't think that you can come anyhow, any way, that you won't defeat the devil. Don't think that you can come with your physical strength that you're gonna I mean, like, confront the devil and try to bring him down. It ain't gonna happen. Spy it ain't gonna happen. Just because you feel like you got a touch from God, oh, I'm ready. Hallelujah. And next thing you know, so the Bible said that when they received the Ark of the Covenant, then they shouted, and as they shouted, they said they're ready. And the Bible said they gathered together again to make war with the Philistines. Yes. And the second time they made war, watch this now, yeah. they went from 4,000 yeah. to how many? To 30. Thousand uh -huh. men. Yes. Yeah. They went from four thousand to thirty thousand men. Yes. So God is telling you. Yes. Yes. As long as you remain in your situation yes. and you think you can confront the devil and get your deliverance in your own, uh -huh. your situation will go from bad to yes. worse. Yeah. So that's the way that they're attached to you. There is no way you can detach them from 
yourself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And in order for them to come out, it's not going to be what you want, but God is going to cause you to go through some situations yeah. that will cause the stuff to die out of your life. It was never Israel's will, nor expectation that they would lose the fight. That's right. But because the wine that will come out, yeah. because the wine that will come out, yeah. then some people die as a result of the sin that they committed. And because God had a plan, he says to Eli, I'm going to cut off your branch and I will replace it. How would he cut off the branch? By killing his bloodline. Uh -huh. That will not succeed him because he replaced him. Yeah. Be careful that God will not replace you. Somebody here. Yeah. 